school closures are now widespread in Nigeria in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, these are critical steps to protect the health of Nigerians. The disruption in routine for children can be incredibly hard. Long-term changes to daily schedules can mean a loss of skills they may have gained during school programming or lead to increased anxiety and maybe problematic behaviors. More so, parents who are also at home unexpectedly and juggling work with home life have fewer options to balance all these demands. Joining us now via Skype is David. Okay. Good morning, David. Good morning, Nina. Can you hear me, David? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, great. So let's talk about you being at home. How has it been for you not being in school but being at home? Oh, it's been okay. My dad threw up a timetable for us, and we it's okay. I lost I, I lost you there, David. So all issues that after we have uh, so my dad dropped a timetable for us. So after we have our have our bath, we we pray and we do our online school, which is we called BLE. And really means virtual learning environment. So afterwards, after that, we have recess, then we go on to different extracurricular activities, such as um, music, um, art, and so on. It's um, good. Yeah, you can go ahead. Oh, okay. So. After those stuff, my mom teaches us baking, so we learn a lot from her, and it's really fun and exciting because we get to eat them afterwards. <laughs> it's good to hear that you have a, a timetable at home and that you are, you know, sticking strictly to your timetable with the help of your parents and learning how to bake also. Meanwhile, uh, are there yeah. other, you know, things that you would have learned in school uh, that you, uh, you were learning before the lockdown that somehow you can't get grips of as a result of the lockdown? Well, my dad really wants me to focus on my math and it's that's what because that's where I have challenges. But the other other subjects they're actually easy for me. So but the, if there's any topic I I bring my textbook home and I study. Okay, so it, it, it looks like without your teachers, you have your mom and dad also at home as extra teachers. So you are not missing a lot as it is. Yes. All right, now let's talk about exams. Are you expecting to write your exams online also? How do you feel about that? What preparations are already in place for you? Well, my, so in my timetable, my um, academic session is the longest, which is two hours. And in those two hours, I have, I cover a lot. And what I cover in, in two hours is the, I have to focus on my weak spot, meaning the math. So when I'm doing math, I focus on the topic that I don't really understand, that I know it's going to come out in the exam because I have the curriculum and everything. So that's how I'm preparing for my exam. Uh, in your, if comparing your time at home, your homeschooling experience and your classroom uh, uh, experience, which affords you more time to learn? Is it homeschooling or classroom? I think it's homeschooling because um, when I'm in school, I tend to sometimes get distracted by my classmates. So I think yeah, um, my house is better because I have a room where I can concentrate and do my best. Thank you so very much, David, for sharing your experiences with us. And please do stay safe. You're welcome. Thank you, too.